YouTube fam, how y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I rant and I review. Uh, first of all, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and the support, and thank you for all the positive energy. This is not just a channel. This is a community of collectors talking about things, dealing with collecting. Second of all, I want to say thank you to all of you all who have joined the group over on Facebook, Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, a place where we can go and talk about what's going on in the hobby, you know, whether it's video games, uh, toys, um, shit, comic books, um, Funko Pops, diecast cards. Man, it's real out here. We collect a lot of stuff. Even if you want to put damn DVDs on the page, it's real, fam. We collect it all over here. And this channel is not just for one sector of people. It's for everybody. It's a collecting channel. We talk and discuss things, fam. But to everybody who came over there, showed up and showed out, I want to say thank you for showing your ass because a lot of people came over there just showing off. And I'm like, damn, that's what I'm talking about. Safe space. You know, I see negative comments. That shit is deleted. We ain't playing that. You know, like I said, I want our brothers and sisters to feel safe, to post their stuff. No hate, no aggression. Just people showing love. And that's what I'm talking about, fam. Another thing I want to talk to y'all about, the third thing, there's a lot of people talking to me about trying to sell me their collections, trying to sell me comic book collections, trying to sell me toy collections, uh, gym shoe collections, man. And you know what? I'm going to have to be honest. Now, in certain shoes, I'm going to be honest here, certain shoes, I'm a size 12. Some shoes, I'm a size 11. Some, I'm a size 10. I don't know how the hell does that work. You know, but some shoes are not made right. You know, as far as with the shoes, fam, I don't know about all of that. And I'm just going to be honest because it's a hard deal flying somewhere and trying on shit. You know, what if <laughs> I don't fit this shit, man? And no disrespect. You know, I done went over here and paid a lot of money. Then I had to pay for somewhere to stay. You know what? And this is what I'm talking about, fam. And I want to get to this. You know, I hear a lot of people wanting to sell like I said, they're trying to sell me Funko Pop collections, man. And, you know, I don't know how to feel about Funko Pops right about now because of all the shit that's going on with it. You know, the sales are down with Funko Pops, completely down. I mean, they're not moving. They're being clearanced out in some places. Action figures. The sales of those are not as high as they used to be, fam. I mean, people are not dropping, you know, just big shit loads of money on them anymore, man. You know, it's real right now, man. You know, far as video games, the sales of video games, video games, video games are down. People are not trying to pay that much for anything anymore. And I don't want to cheat anybody. And see, this is what a lot of people don't understand. Again, we all in this together. You know, we all got to eat. Now, you know, we all understand what our collection is valued at and everything else. But you got to take in consideration that I'm not going to give you what it's valued at. It don't make no sense. You know, if I decide to resell some of the stuff, you know, in order to make sense for me, if I got some of the pieces already, I'm just being honest. Now, I've done this a couple of times with a couple of people. You know, I just don't list that stuff here because, again, you know, um, it's real. And sometimes I want to keep that away because some people get a little jelly and, you know, try to make it seem like you over there ripping people off, man. You know what? Everybody out here got a situation they got going on that they got to do something for. You know, a lot of people are hitting me up. I got friends who collect who've been, you know, reaching out to me talking about, man, you know, I got a um, sports card collection. You know, I know you into sports cards and stuff like that, man. I know you used to collect Pokemon cards back in the day, man. I kind of shied away from Pokemon. They just too damn much. And the sports cards. But, you know, if I can come across some older sports cards, you know, I take a look. Just like with the collections of video games, toys, Funko Pops, gym shoes, vinyl, um, laser disc, uh, DVD collections. You know, I take a look. Diecast cards. Like I said, I will take a look. And this is what I'm talking about here. Um, one thing about this channel I want to talk about too. Does it really need to be one particular thing? We all collect different things. 
And sometimes it's good to talk about different things. Sometimes it's good for us all to understand what the other people in the other communities are going through. You know, as far as diecast cars, Funko Pops, comic books, um, sport cards, uh, just gym shoes. And you'd be like, damn, um, Stock Ags really did a deal over there. They really fucked over some people with all them counterfeit ass shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and got all those verified check signs on the shoes. Get your ass out of here. How the hell could you do that? But these are uh, unauthorized authentics. <laughs> I said, oh, hell no. Come on, man. You know, don't get me wrong. These unauthorized, unauthorized authentics are not fakes. They are shoes made by the same damn manufacturer, but not um, under the direction of Nike or Jordan and you know you get a lot of those man and I mean <laughs> at one point in time fam I had a lot of those I'm serious I had a lot of those and I was trying to understand people said those shoes ain't real they are real they're just as real as yours it's about around the same price Man, I'm serious, man. You know, uh, but over a period of time, I got rid of a lot of them. Um, I parted ways with some. Some people came through, bought some. You know, because like I said, sometimes those author unauthorized authentics make some badass shoes. I mean, some shoes you ain't never seen. You're like, damn, everybody looking at your feet like, what the hell? Oh, and to the people... <laughs> Oh, man, I'm sorry. I ain't trying to be funny. Now, I'm going to be honest. Now, we all know I'm into uh, cologne. Now, I don't really go into bad collections of cologne from people. Man, I do not do that. You know, because you got to be careful with that type of stuff. People can do some horrible shit to you when it comes to things like that, man. You know, so I'm just saying, watches and things like that, I'm still good with. Um, but, you know, as far as cologne, I got to take a, you know, a step back with that one, man. You know. Again, you know, I collect books and every damn thing. <laughs> J.R. Word. <laughs> I mean, J.R. Ward. Yeah. Bruh, we collect a lot of different stuff in this house. My wife collect purses, shoes. Man, that's just who she is. Perfume, man. She's big on her end on collecting, man. You know, those are some of the things that she likes. You know, if I happen upon some books when I'm out, I pick up a lot of them and, you know, she let me know what she don't have. And most of them she do have. But you know what? She'd be like, well, I could just flip these. And I'd be like, Shh, okay. You know, you know, sometimes you got to understand when to reinvest in your hobby. If you find some stuff to invest in, to reinvest into your hobby, to get you some other stuff. Yes, it is reselling. I understand that, fam. And I know y'all like, damn, Unc, I didn't know you was doing all that. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you see some of the stuff that you ask me, like, how did you get some of this stuff? People be selling shit, man. You know, people come into those storage units and they do not want certain things. And, you know, like I said, I'm on a lot of people Rolodex. You got to have a lot of people as friends when it comes down to business. And you know what? I'm not a reseller anymore because I used to resell a while back. You know, now I'm just collecting and, you know. Shit, I was collecting computers at one point in time. <laughs> that shit got lucrative. I had to sell that shit. <laughs> My friend just started um, collecting cars. This video here is just me talking to you. He started collecting cars. He found him at IROC Z in Wisconsin. Um, man. You know, some of the things need to be worked on. Some things need to be fixed. <clears throat> it's a project car. And I'm going to be honest. It's a project car. But, you know, you maybe can find some of the pieces. Um, another friend is looking for a uh, Nissan 300ZX. You know, from 90, I think, uh, to 96 or something like that. You know, and I was telling them, it's hard to find those cars for like... You know, you can find them below 50,000 some of them you can find like at 20,000 seeing a few for 10 I've seen a couple for 5 but the 5 you gotta put a lot of work into it but you know what a lot of people are doing a lot of different things right now you know they just just try to switch things up 
just trying to get excited about things, man. You know, I got a lot of friends who have stopped collecting and started a walking club and they just walk, you know, like when they off, they just walk, you know, him and his whole group just walk. And I think that's cool, fam. You know what? You do what you got to do. You got to make things work for you. And again, this video is just about some of everything, man. It's just real. But to later, thank you for watching. Peace out.